the journey. The journey is what gets us up at 4 a.m. as fishermen to drive three hours to a lake that we don't even know has fish. The journey is what forces us to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on tackle and rods and reels and gas to get to where we're going and catch fish. The angling experience is why we go on these journeys, why we spend this money, why we spend this time, why we dedicate our lives as fishermen. And it is the journey that compels me to make these videos for you guys. I love being out here on the water, just experiencing God's creation in its truest form. And that is what is pushing this series right here. This is called On The Fly. Fly fishing is one of those things that I have wanted to get involved in my entire life and I just never put the time into doing, get out here to a river, to a lake, and just enjoy fly fishing uh, in its natural state. So that is what the series is gonna be about. My journey on the fly. My journey of learning how to fly fish, starting from level zero. That right there is not what you want. I know little to nothing about fly fishing, but I think this is the next frontier in my fishing journey is learning how to catch fish on the fly. My name is Tyler Anderson, and welcome to On The Fly. Well, to begin this journey, we gotta do a little caravan deal. So we're gonna drop off my buddy Dylan's truck at the finishing point. Him and his girlfriend are gonna hop in my truck, and then we're gonna head to uh, the starting point to get this day started. I'm excited. Ah, uh, there we go. Wipe down the seat. I wanna get a wet butt. There she goes. Yeah, so the flows dropped like 50% overnight. So we're changing everything up. Yesterday I had a bunch of weight, big profiles, a little bit dirtier water. Now it looks much clearer. A little slower, so we're gonna change the weight. Take off some of these splitties. This resembles a little, little egg form. Right now, they're trying to do some false spawning. Not very productive, but there's a lot of eggs in the river. I'm attaching this thing to eight pound fluorocarbon, which in the fly fishing world is three X. Typically, I like to run fluorocarbon to my nymphs that are gonna be underneath the water. Fluorocarbon sinks, also doesn't stretch. And so uh, when I'm running nymphs, I run fluorocarbon, and then if I'm throwing dry flies, um, I run monofilament. What we're doing right now is called nymphing. Um, a nymph mm -hmm. you know, is, is an underwater insect. Okay. And so you know we're acting upon that as the verb nymphing. And so we are trying to imitate um, underwater insects. Okay. And so. Basically what these currents are is like conveyor belts full of food. Yeah. You know, these fish will strategically stack up in the river so they can receive what's what's going down. Got it. You know, they're they're not gonna be like a bass patrolling, you know, dead water, you know, and, and chewing that. They're gonna be, you know, wanting stuff coming to them. Hold the rod like you would a briefcase. Yep. The cast that we're gonna learn today is a roll cast. Okay. Um, we'll learn a couple throughout the day. Yeah. Um, but this is gonna be your bread and butter right here. Okay. The roll cast looks just like this. Picking your rod tip up at yep. 12 o'clock, chopping wood right back down to the So it's like a 12 6 trajectory. Got it. And then, so the next portion of this is mending your line. Mending means correct in the dictionary. Okay. So, what happens is our fly line is heavier than our leader and indicator out there. Yes. And so, this fly line is going to want to go faster or sometimes okay, okay. slow down yep. in different currents. You know, there's, there's multiple currents between where we're at mm -hmm. to all the way to the other side of the river. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when we fish, we're looking for one current. Oh, uh, so, okay. So this method right here is high sticking, and this keeps the fly line off the current, so you get the current mm -hmm. where your bobber is. Okay. Strike indicator. And uh, 
Yeah, we'll go with strike indicator. Strike indicator. <laughs> and the idea is just to follow where that what that indicator is doing. Okay. And making sure it's not being manipulated. You know, make 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 it look like there's nothing attached to it. Got it. Okay. You know, like right here, you would pull it to your right, right there. Pull Got it. it. Okay. Yeah. Like oh, I got that. a rock. So you know, it's all on. Got him. Oh my god. Oh. Dang it. It's all right. What did I do wrong there? Nothing. Okay. He ate the little fly. Josh, dang it. All right, try it again. Yeah. Oh. I've got one. I've got one. It, it's, oh. Gosh, dang it. I had so much line out. Should I, have, should I have brought it down to my finger and started? Correct. Okay. Correct. Gosh. Always have that finger there because what's going to happen is they're going to run right at you. Okay. So you got to pick up that line quick. Gosh. Yeah, so when you set the hook, keep your finger that has a line right there. Okay. Keep that tight. Got it. And then you can pull it. Oh, folks, you are coming along the journey with me. You are seeing the struggles of this. Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. I'm really feeling it. All right, so we drifted down a couple times. We had, what was it, one, two bites on the midge. Not hot. So we're gonna adjust. I'm going to uh, change this midge to a trico. Here's my cluster. It's a good way to describe it. <laughs> this is my fly tire back here. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Behind every guy, there's a good fly tire. <laughs> oh. There he is. Rod tip up, Tyler. Rod tip up. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Let's get the pinky. I know. Get the pinky, get the pinky. There you go. Woo, let him run, okay. Oh, here we go. Woo. Rod tip up. Now I got the reel. Okay. Woo. Woo. Just let him run there. Okay. Once that thing slows down, now you gotta pick up quick. Should I reel? Or reel or strip? Uh, strip. Okay. Oh my gosh. I knew you were gonna do that. Ouch. Yeah. Oh, Whew. That's good. That's big. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is that, a, is that a rainbow or a brown? It's a rainbow. Okay. My wrist hurts. Good grief. <laughs> it's like a muscle that you don't use, you know? He's, he's getting a little bit more tired now. Oh, yes. Here we go, got her in. Let's go. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Can I grab that camera real quick? Gorgeous. First fish in the net. What do you get, Tyler? Heck yeah. So when I lift the net, Kay. wet your hands underneath it. Got it. And then uh, hold your hands out flat. I'll just, I just want to cradle it. Okay. Wet my hands underneath it. Yep. Got it. It's a big one. Heck hands yeah. Two hands flat. Yeah. There we go. Gorgeous. There we Gorgeous go. rainbow trout on the Guadalupe River. Yes, sir. Heck yeah. This is definitely my biggest rainbow ever. Hopefully, you catch one that's bigger than this, but <laughs> that is a gorgeous that's quality fish. Gorgeous fish. Beautiful. Woo! Let's get her back in the water. Yep. Heck yeah. I can have a 10 second rule. Got it. So you point their head against the current, right? Or into the current? Yep. And you let them swim out? Yep. Yeah, they build up that lactic acid, you know? Yeah, yeah. So you're just trying to. Build, you know, or run oxygen through the gills and get that oxygen down. Wow. You know, four feet deep. Uh huh. Which is totally different. <laughs> He's using the boat as a as a current stop. Yep. Oh, okay, let me get you. Good Let's go. Here. Here's that. Heck yeah. Is that to wipe off my hands? Yeah. I'll give you one more. Oh, I was gonna reach down into the water, but. Got a little trick. Yes. Nice. Let's go. That's good. One oh. thing to take note of is. You know, that, that bite back there was definitely really subtle. Yeah. It was like a... It was very subtle. It was almost like he just flicked that bite. Yeah, yeah. You know? That was sick. There you go. That one felt good coming out. Yeah, you can hear that line. It's shooting out. Hit, hit it, hit it. Got, Got him. Get that rod up. Right, keep your rod up, wrap around the yep. oar. Where's he going? Where's he going? <laughs> That's uh, good timing. Yeah, right? Good timing on the camera there. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Uh, 
He took a little jump there. I'm gonna try to that guy. Oh, there he goes. There he comes, and he's coming in. Yes. There we go. Heck yeah. Nice. Shot number two. Let's Shot go. Number two. That's a big one. I think it's beautiful. Hi everyone, my name is Dylan Mendoza. I'm 27 years old. I am a fly fishing guide. Uh, I've been doing this for five years now. Um, I'm born and raised in Austin, Texas, and uh, this is where I spend my winters. I've been coming back and forth between Colorado and Texas for uh, about five years now. Um, and uh, I spend the summers in uh, Basalt, Colorado, uh, on the frying pan, Roaring Fork, Colorado River. Um, and in the winter, I come back down here, um, do some trout guiding down the Guadalupe River, and then I'm also uh, bass fishing around Central Texas, anywhere from Colorado River um, to Lake Travis and uh, everywhere in between. Oh yeah, so I forgot to answer your question. Uh, you up, was you up fly or conventional? No, so I, I grew up actually uh, conventional fishing. Um, you know, the thing to do when there wasn't anything to do was to stand on the dock and, and fish at night. Um, you know, I was walking distance away from the lake um, you know, growing up, and so we would always go down to the dock and then just kind of, you know, mess around in the lights. Um, so it kind of, you know, escalated, you know, from dropping live minnows off the dock to, you know, eventually throwing flies off the dock. You know, so over that course of time, you know, I started fishing quite a bit, you know, from high school all the way through through the end of it, and inevitably came a fishing guide. So if you'd have told me back in the day that I'd been a fishing guide now, I would have said you're joking. But uh, you know, everything happens for a reason and uh, it's been great. I would never think well, <laughs> that fat of a fish would get through a hole that small. Oh, the holes on the... <laughs> well, we were gonna get a picture of that fish, but after I took the slow motion B-roll there, he escaped through the little hole in the net. So, fish number two, success. My my arm is starting to, uh, to feel it on those fights there, but it's a good feeling. And uh, we're finding success, so. Whew. Sometimes, sometimes I vlog and I just don't exactly know what I'm saying. You just kind of talk to the camera, but give me some of that. Yeah, Let's go. This is my, uh, my Sunday net. I should have brought my Sunday net. Yeah. Holy. Can you cast over your right shoulder? Like up here? Yeah, right back okay. here. Side of the, there you go. Perfect. Gives you a little more time in the water. Yep, yep. Oh, oh that's, that's a rock. rock. Pretend it's a fish. Nobody knows. Get that, gotta get that thumbnail. Oh, that was not great. It's the opposite of great. Yeah. Got him. There he is. There he is. Bring him in. Oh man. Starting off the day rough, and now we're uh, we're, we're we're smoking him. Is that a brown? I got a brown trout. In the wise words of Edwin Evers, it's a brown one. Get in the boat, a brown one. Woo, a brown one. You ready? Yes, sir. Here he comes. Oh, where's he at, where's he at? Yeah, beautiful. Heck yeah, brown trout number one. And it's flat, both of them underneath, there you go. Look at that. Now, a brown trout native to the Guadalupe River. No, they're not. They're not. They're not even native to the United States. Oh, all right. Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. My first brown trout. And we're going to let you back in the water. Oh, all right. That's a healthy fish right there. Yeah. Nice shot. You, you guys need to book a guide trip with this guy. <laughs> I'm a dingus and I've already caught three and lost like seven. So, heck yeah. Got him. Little guy. Of course, there's no fish here. Not a single one. Where are you going, amigo? Where are you going? Not a giant, but we'll take him. Another brown trout. Oh, a bigger brown, right? Yep, yeah. Brown. Where are you going there, amigo? Oh, he said skirt. He does. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. There he is. Heck yeah. Good deal. Let's go. Look at that little fly in the corner of the mouth. Ooh. Little trico in the corner of the mouth. Doesn't get more textbook than that. That's gorgeous. That's a pretty fish right there. I'll let you just unhook him and let him go. Yep. Let me get a nice release shot. Uh, which way are you gonna go? Up the upstream? Yeah, I'm gonna go upstream here. There we go. 
Sorry. Well done. <laughs> we got plenty more. Yeah. Good stuff. Give me some of that. Yeah, buddy. Get down, bud. Come on. You ready? You might take it. There we go. Keep your rod on the right. Angle on the right. Oh.